Okay, today we're going to solve uh, three digit dividends using number disks. As you can see, I have a setup. I'm going to use the place value chart in doing this. The first thing that I like to point out when I'm teaching my students is to look at the, the divisor. The divisor will determine how many disks we will have per group. So that's very important. So let's go ahead and start doing this. With this problem, we're going to start by looking at the ones place. We have eight in the ones place. So we need to make place eight this here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Notice I have it set up in groups of three. So here's one group of three. Here's a second group of three with two left over. Now let's look at a tens place where we have the number six. So let's make some just here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So now we have two groups of three. One, two with nothing left over. So now let's move over to the hundreds place. Here we have five. One, two, three, four, five. We only have one group of three in the hundreds. So you notice we have two left over. So as you can see, we have the divisor is three. So we can't take the divisor three into two. So in order to divide this, we need to move each one in the hundreds to the tens place. So I'm going to move it over here. And 100 is 10 tens. So we need to make 10 tens. Let me change the color here. So here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And as you can see, I have one group, 2, 3, and we have one left over. So let's do the same thing with the other hundred that is here. Let me just go ahead and scratch this out. We moved it over to the tens place. So we're going to do the same thing with this hundred that's left over. And we're going to make this, put this in groups of three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now remember, like I said earlier, one hundred is ten tens. So that's why we place ten discs over here. So this is one group of three, two groups of three, and three groups of three. All right, so we can go ahead and scratch this out because we moved it over to the tens place. So this leaves us with one group of three. So this is one. So now, as you can see, we have two left over in the tens place. So like I said, in the hundreds, I can't set, take three and divide it into two. So in order to do this, I need to move this over to the ones place. So one ten is ten ones. So let's move this over here and do the same thing we did in the tens place. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. As you can see, we have one group of three, two groups of three, and three groups of three with one left over. So let's do the same thing with the other ten that is in the tens place. So we move that over to the ones and we're going to make groups of three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So now we have one group, two groups, and three groups. So as you can see, let's go ahead and scratch out what we did in the tens because we moved it over to the ones. So that's no longer here. Move, remove this and that's long, no longer here. So as you can see now, we have one, two, three, four ones left over. But we can make this into, we can at least take this one, one, two, three, and make that into a group of three. So what I would show is I can take this, and this is another group, and I only have one left over. So all I'm left to do now is count how many groups I have in each place value. 
So as you can see here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have nine groups of three. So we put nine here and we have one left over. Here's the one that is left over. Change the color so we can see that. So this is the one that's left over. So this is my remainder of one. So let's look in the tens place now. We have one. I'm not going to try to write numbers. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight groups of three in the tens place. So we write the number eight here. And now we only have one as he identified earlier. We only have one group of three in the hundreds. So this is my answer, 189 with a remainder of one. So I just write this on the bar. So I have nine ones. And I put that above eight because eight is in the ones. I put eight above six because that's in the tens. And I put one above the five because it is in the hundreds place. Can't forget my remainder of one. Now let's check and see if this is correct. To check this, I'm going to use multiplication. I'm going to take my divisor and multiply it with my quotient. Do that over here. So we have 189 times 3. And we want to see if that's going to equal my dividend here. So 3 times 9 is 7. I need to carry 2 over in the tens place. And I simply multiply 3 times 8 is 24 plus 2 is 26. I need to carry the 2 over in the hundreds place. So now I have 3 times 1 is 3 plus 2 is 5. We can't forget about our remainder of 1. So we need to add 1 to this and it's going to equal 568 which is my dividend. So this is correct. The answer is 189 with a remainder of 1.